The sample piano bundle was recorded entirely by a robot, which is pretty crazy. But does it sound good? That's the real question. And rather than doing a review and here's all the features and benefits like most people do, I'm literally just going to produce a track using almost entirely just this instrument to show you how it actually sounds. And watch till the end because I am doing a giveaway. I'm going to give away three of these licenses to the bundle. So the bundle that we're going to be looking at is this Hammers and Waves library by Skybox Audio. It is a bundle of several different piano instruments. And this is just what the modern grand default uh, patch sounds like. So nice sounding piano, add some space. This is controlled by the mod wheel. What I want to do is actually look at some of these presets. This is obviously a very, very super simple layout and they have all their presets right in here. You can pick what kind of sound you're looking for. So if you're wanting something that's like more of a pluck. Ooh, that's really cool. And so as you can see, they have multiple different instruments here that you can choose from, from chime to electric to their prepared piano. This is just the modern grand. Let's go ahead and actually create a track. So I'm just going to kind of figure out a chord. I'm just going to start from a chord progression and we'll build this whole track from there. Well, I like that. I kind of want to maybe start with something that is a little more ethereal. So we're going to do something like a pad piano sound and see what we can find. Let's just go to the acoustic. I'm sure we can find something in here. What about this one? Okay, that's sick. Now, if you actually want to edit and manipulate the instruments itself, so as you can see, this is a very simple looking instrument. Um, you only have these dials down here. If you click up in here, for example, you're gonna get this page. That's pretty much it apart from all the presets in here. So if you wanna actually manipulate and change this instrument, you can do so by going down here and just hovering over. And as you can see, you can click on any one of these things and it will go ahead and show you all the different ways that you can manipulate each of of these different aspects. So for example, under space, we could go in and actually manipulate with the delay in here, or we can go in and actually change the reverb. Uh, we can add you know, filters to the reverb, change the size, pre-delay, and all of that. So even though the design right here is extremely simple, you're still able to basically open up into each of these pages to start making additional manipulations. Uh, I want to maybe add another element in here, like a pad, to kind of add some low end on this now. I'm just going to be using presets in this video. Sweet. Let's see if we can find something a little more like plucky. So what I want to do now is show you the muted relic piano. This one here. So the defaults are like super, super basic where it's like, this is literally a plucked instrument. Then once you start getting into the presets that they actually created. Oh, actually, whoa. I love that. That's really cool. I mean, that's sounding pretty darn sweet, let's be honest. I want to add more of a plucked element, though. That's actually really stinking cool. That's actually really stinking cool. Let's do the electric just to see what we can find. That's actually really, really good. Let's try this dulcitone. <laughs> Let's try this. is so good. So let's see if we can find something using uh, these rhythmic arp. Okay, let's see. Oh. I mean, that sounds incredible, just like completely on its own, right out of the gate. Here we go. Oh, 
<laughs> it sounds really good. I think what I'm gonna do right now is just produce some sick drums and we'll see where we can go from there. All right, so got a little bit of drums put in here, kind of more like ethereal stuff, fun little thing we got going. What I really want to start doing here is figuring out if we can add in just a bunch of other elements to add some texture in here. Uh, just make this a little bit more interesting. There we go, and that's how we'll end it. That's cool. Oh my gosh. And here is the reveal. So my question is, what do you think? Did you like the sound of this instrument? And if you want to get this instrument for free, we are doing a giveaway till Friday, the end of this week. You can click the link in the comments or in the description to enter for that giveaway. See you soon.